Hello, this is Pastor Jonathan Morgan, and I want to just thank you for joining me today for this faith injection. Uh, we've had a few uh, technical difficulties, so I'm a little late getting started, but I'm glad you've uh, tuned in to watch us uh, on this video. Uh, I'm outside today. What a beautiful day. I don't think there's, a, there's even a cloud in the sky. The, the trees are green. The leaves are so beautiful, and I just thought I'd come outside and give a different view today. But uh, I want to uh, read from the scripture found in Exodus chapter 15. In Exodus chapter 15 and verse 26, the very end of that verse, it says, in, and I'll be quoting from the old King James version that says, the Lord said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Now that scripture, first of all, is one word in the Hebrew, and it is a compound word of Jehovah Rapha. God is announcing himself as Israel's healer. A couple of things I always like to point out about that is that Israel has just come out of Egyptian captivity. They've come into the wilderness. And the script, scripturally, Exodus 15, the three days journey into the wilderness, and God now presents himself. He reveals himself to Israel as their healer. So Israel is not clamoring or calling or praying or fasting and asking God to somehow come in his mercy and be their healer. It is God himself that initiates that revelation to his people, that he's telling them that from this day forward, I and I alone am your healer, and he thus healed them. Psalms 105, verse 37, the Bible says that God brought them out with silver and gold. You understand that? He gave them silver and gold, and the scripture continues, Psalms 105, 37, and there was not one feeble person among their tribes which means that Jehovah Rapha showed himself faithful to his nature and he healed them all. Scholars say two and a half to three million Israelites and every single one of them is healed. Every one of them is healed. No cancer, no diabetes, no arthritis, no blindness, no deafness. There's absolutely no sickness among them because God himself is their healer. Hallelujah. And, uh, and I'm reminded in Malachi chapter 3 verse 6, God says, I am the Lord and I change not. And so that revelation, that covenant that God gave to Israel is still in force today. The Lord himself is our healer and we can depend on him. We can believe him. Hallelujah. Now, what is interesting is, is that when you read that in the scripture, he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. That's old King James, healeth, H-E-A-L-E-T-H. Now, any time in the King James, Old King James, you see the word E-T-H ending. In other words, speaketh, runneth, uh, walketh. In other words, it's speaking of the action of the verb, which means that if I am, uh, if, if the man speaketh, that means the man has begun to speak, is now speaking, and is continuing to speak. If I said the man runneth, what am I saying? I'm saying the man has begun to run, is now, right now, running, and is continuing to run. So that's the action of that verb with the E-T-H ending. So when God says, I am the Lord that healeth thee, what is God saying? God is saying, I have begun to heal you, I am now healing you, and I continue to heal you. Hallelujah. And so God says to you today, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Now, if you and I believe that, that verb or that, that scripture just the way it says, then regardless of how I see myself, regardless of what it looks like, no matter, regardless of how it feels, what do I believe? I believe that scripture. Now, what does that scripture tell me? The Lord is now healing me. When? Now. The Lord is healing me now. He is continuing to heal me. Hallelujah. He's begun to heal me. He's healing me now, and he's continuing to heal me. He's healing me now. He's healing me 10 minutes from now. He's healing me an hour from now. He continues to heal me. Wow. Hallelujah. So when you add that component that he's continuing to heal me, what you see is, is that there is a continual flow of the life of God in and through us. Just exactly what Jesus said. Jesus, out of your belly flows rivers of living water, John 7, verse 38. So there's a continuous flow of healing in us. Praise God. Hallelujah. And so that's what God is doing. Now, with that component, I am the Lord that healeth thee. I've begun to heal you. I am now healing you. And I continue to heal you. 
what you see is, is that God has put us in a place where we are continually healed. We abide in a place of having been healed, which means that God has literally given to us uh, protection. He's given to us immunity from all the diseases that might be around us. Um, now, if you go into the Hebrew of that, I am the Lord that healeth thee, according to Dr. Robert Young. Dr. Robert Young, was a, he's passed away now, older gentleman, but he, he, he's a Hebrew, recognized Hebrew scholar. He even wrote what's called the Young's uh, Analytical uh, Concordance. You can look that up even on Amazon. You can buy that book. But it's a concordance. A concordance is, uh, you probably know, a concordance is a study book that has, in other words, you look up a word. For example, if I wanted to study life, I look up in the concordance the word life, and under that heading of life is every verse in the Bible where the word life is found. Beside of that life is a number. That number is called what we call a Strong's Concordance number that coordinates to every word. So I can study the Hebrew. I just look at that number, go to the back of the book, and then under that number, I can read all what the Hebrew is about that word that's recorded in the concordance. So according to Dr. Robert Young's concordance, the verbs in Exodus 15, 26 are in the permissive sense. In other words, it would be said like this. God says, I will... The King James says, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. So in the King James, it sounds like that God is actively putting disease upon the Egyptians. But really, when you take Dr. Robert Young's explanation in the Hebrew that those verbs are in the permissive sense, it would read like this. God says, I will not allow, I will not permit to be put upon you the diseases which I have allowed or permitted to come upon the Egyptians. And so immediately when we see that, we see that what God is saying is more than healing, but God is talking about protection. He says, I will not allow to be put on you. I will not allow to be brought upon you the diseases of Egypt. Hallelujah. You know, from that point forward in the scripture, it's amazing how many verses in the Bible where God talks to Israel about healing them, and those promises actually center around God protecting them rather than them getting sick and then God later healing them. Uh, matter of fact, if we were to turn to Exodus chapter 25 and verse, uh, excuse me, uh, I believe it's Exodus chapter 23 and verse 25, look at what it says. God says this, so you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water. And God says that I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Now, that means what? That means God's going to remove sickness from the midst of the nation of Israel. That is, they're all going to be healed, and with sickness removed, they're going to remain or abide in a place of healing. Now, from that point forward, from Exodus 15 all the way to Numbers, the middle part of the book of Numbers, Israel remains healed. There's no sickness among them. Um, scholars say that that time period was 26 years. For 26 years in the recorded history of this scripture, there's no sick among them until they began to complain against God and complain against Moses, and there was a plague that brought, broke out. Now, let, let, let me turn now to Deuteronomy. I'll turn to Deuteronomy chapter, chapter 15. In Deuteronomy chapter 15, no, excuse me, chapter 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 15. Listen to what the Bible says. The Bible says in uh, verse 15, Deuteronomy 7, 15, the Lord will take away from you all sickness. Look at what God said. God said, I'll take away from you all sickness and will afflict you with none of the terrible, or King James says, evil diseases of Egypt, which you have known. In other words, Egypt was a very sick place. In that scripture, God's not talking about the plagues that came on Egypt during the, when God was delivering Israel out of Egyptian captivity. He's talking about the sicknesses that were typical of the nation of Egypt. They, God called them evil. God called them, uh, here in, in New King James, he called them terrible, the terrible diseases of Egypt. But, so Israel was aware of them. They knew of them. They were afraid of them. 
Matter of fact, if I read on, he said that you have known, but will lay those upon all those who hate you. They feared those diseases. But God said in his word, the Lord would take away from you all sickness, all sickness, and will afflict you with none of the terrible diseases of Egypt. Or we might, again, apply the same principle to that verse that we referred to earlier by Dr. Young. God would, it would read it like this. And the Lord will take away from you all sickness and will not allow you to be afflicted with any of the evil diseases of Egypt. Again, the promise there in the first covenant was not that get sick, get healed, get sick, get healed, get sick, get healed, as if... Sickness was just the normal part of life. No, God says, I'll be your healer. I will, I've, I'm now healing you. I've begun to heal you. I continue to heal you. I take away from the midst of you all sickness. I take away from you all the evil diseases of Egypt. Hallelujah. So we are kept in a place of health and healing by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to tell you, you can be, have great comfort today. The Lord is your healer. Why don't you make a decision today to, to embrace him as your healer and receive his healing grace and strength into your life today. He loves you and he heals you today. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I pray for every person watching this video. Thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that reaches to them, that this word is effective in their life. I believe it. We believe it. You have now begun to heal me. You are healing me now. You're continuing to heal me. Thank you, Lord, that I am healed by the power of the Holy Spirit living in my body. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.